This week on the Sportsman Experience, Jim is mixing things up and testing his skills as a middle school fishing coach. Yeah, so my theory is here that this creek that's on the other side over here, yeah. the fish push up in there when the tide gets high and they come out and sit under this dock when the tide's low. He's got redfish addict Owen, an eighth grade Show redfish off. tournament angler on the boat with him and they're participating in the Brody Bates Youth Redfish Open for a chance at some serious scholarship money. See, he's got that good fishing flow. That's what I work for. I'm trying, I'm trying to bring my fishing flow back for the summer. Oh, got a little, little baby flounder. Baby flounder, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it was a flounder bite. Look at yep. him eat that big old minnow. Fishing is a lifelong passion. The pursuit of new species and lifelong memories is why we are up before dawn and coming home salty in the evening. My name's Jim Isaac, lifelong fisherman, boat builder, and student of the water. Join us as we bring along family and friends to pursue new waters, learn new methods, and enjoy our time together outdoors. Welcome to the Sportsman Experience. Charleston, South Carolina, home to one of the best fisheries in the United States. The history here brings in tourists from all over the world looking to experience the beautiful scenery, Civil War era locations, and one of our favorites, the inshore red fishing. The marsh grass, plethora bait, and dense oyster habitat make for an extremely good redfish ecosystem which also makes it a great location for fishing tournaments of all sorts. Hey Jim, looks like you're loading some gear. What you got yeah, going man. on? What's going on? Um, yeah, so we're just doing a little uh, youth redfish tournament tomorrow. Um, we're gonna use a boat and sponsor a kid and take him out there. It's, it's the Birdie Bates Youth Redfish Tournament. Is there any prize money associated with that tournament? Yeah, so it's a scholarship tournament. So uh, I think we get first pay place for middle school and high school's uh, $5,000 scholarship and then $1,000 big fish. You gonna use any of that cash money to go back to school learning how to catch fish? Oh man, I don't know. I might have to send you back to learn how to cast. <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, tell me some more about this tournament. Yeah, so it's a memorial tournament. Um, the family that started it, you know, they turned a tragedy into something that kind of benefits the community, benefits other children. Um, since it's a scholarship tournament, you know, it's and it's youth only. It brings these kids out, gets them outdoors, lets them, you know, I mean, they can win money for their future, so kind of helps out with that. Um, we've got a little guy, Owen. He's in middle school. He's coming with us tomorrow. He's uh, he's super pumped. His dad's been calling me all week. He's uh, apparently quite the fisherman, so we're uh, hopefully get him out there, put him on some fish, maybe win him some uh, prizes, and uh, yeah, see what happens. That sounds like a charity for a great cause. I'm out of here for the day. Yeah, for sure. Good luck. All right, man. Take it easy. First place represent. Yeah, man. Jim is ready for a win tomorrow, and he's been talking with Owen's dad, and he is itching to get on the water. With the boat prepped, it's time to get some rest and prepare for an early morning. My name's Coleman Bates, father of the late Brody Bates, creator of the Brody Bates Foundation. The Brody Bates Foundation was created in 2020. It was a foundation we started in, in the honor of our son, Brody Bates, who passed away in 2019. Our goal is to help or benefit other families that have lost a sibling. So growing up, Coleman and I got to know each other through sports at the local recreational league. About a few years ago, Coleman came to me. They were interested in, in buying a sportsman boat, so we helped them go through that process. Not long after, the, the tragedy occurred. At the same time, we were uh, a sportsman looking to figure out a, a way to get youth more involved in, in the outdoors, specifically fishing and boating. And so through that process, we were, we were trying to establish a tournament down here in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, as I kind of walked down that road with Coleman, one thing that kept coming to my mind was it would just be a wonderful opportunity to, to name the tournament uh, in honor of, of his late son, Brody. And that's exactly what we did. 
Brody Bates Redfish Open was started in 2020 in honor of our late son Brody Bates. With the help of Salt Fishing League and Sportsman's Boats, they created a tournament in the low country. Middle school and high school kids could compete while catching redfish with a chance to earn college scholarship money. What's going on everybody? We uh, launched a boat this morning up at Buck Hall Boat Landing. We're out here fishing the Brody Bates Memorial Tournament today. Today we've got Owen with us. He's a middle school student. He's, uh, we're gonna try to put him on some fish out here. We've got it's a pretty strong northeast wind, um, incoming tide, so it's not ideal, but uh, it's a nice morning out here. It's pretty, pretty good. He's, we just started fishing, so we're gonna see what we can find. Oh, there's something on it. No, there is. There Some we go. little bites? Yeah. There we go. Owen, oh, what do you think it's going to take to win the tournament? Uh, hard work. Hard work. I think um, we just got to work hard for these fish, find That's them, right. be patient with it. Today, especially with the tide coming in, I yeah. think we're definitely going to have to work hard. How long have you been doing these little tournaments, Owen? Um, this is actually my first year. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. But I've been fishing normally redfish for a couple of years, uh, maybe five, six years. Nice. Honestly, it's a little bit more fun than freshwater, of course, because I mean, you got b harder fighting fish. Oh yeah. And I mean, a little bit more variety too. Yeah. You never know what's gonna hear to catch. And then you can also eat them if you oh, want yeah. to. Get into a nice big old flounder or something yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always good. He's probably talking about how much of a better fisherman he is. Yeah, he might be right now. So today we're fishing on the all new Masters 247. So starting at the back, you've got two eight foot power poles, the all new Yamaha 300, two aquarium see-through live wells. You also have got right here, two really nice seats that you can pull these down and put your feet up on. Then you've got, of course, two Garmin's, really nice Garmin's, touchscreen Garmin's. On a cold day, this detubing with the windshield is great because it keeps you from being cold and everything with the wind. Then you go to the front of the boat, you've got one compartment right here under the seat. You got two seats. Imagine, you got two people that can sit right there. And then you've got one, two, three, four, and five compartments at the front deck. And when you step up here, you've got all the space in the world to walk around. This is an all around great fishing boat and it's definitely gonna help us win this fishing tournament today. So yeah, this is a youth only tournament. Um, basically, youth are the only ones allowed to have the, hold the rods, um, one rod at a time. We're just here for backup. I think we can help net the fish, but they're, you know, if anything breaks, whatever, they, they have to tie everything up, bait their own hooks, do all that. It's a standard redfish limit. It's 15 to 23. It's uh, two fish, one big fish, but it's a two fish aggregate. Yeah, Owen's got it down though. He's, uh, he, he doesn't need any help. He's, he's doing his thing. So we just gotta try to get him on some fish and, Hopefully we can make that happen. I think he's got the rest handled. Oh, oh, that's a that's a bite. That's a really nice bite. Oh, there Come we go. Couple bites. Yeah, there we go. So Owen's only 13 years old, but you can tell this is what he loves to do. This is his passion. This is what he dreams about at night. I mean, he's really got it going on. This is a fishy kid for sure. Uh, I my grandpa gave me all of his fishing stuff. I've been just like loving the fish. That's a fish. There you go. It's small though. That's all right. I think it's a puppy. Might be a little puppy. That's a start, as long as we know they're here, you know. Yeah. Oh no, it's a sheep. Oh, oh a black drum, probably. Black drum, yeah. Black drum. That's all right, they're hanging out at the same spot, so. A little tiny guy. You got him? You want, uh, you want some pliers? No, that's fine. That's a nice. Nice little. Yeah, pretty jump. fish. Hold them up for the camera. Show them off. You can get your hand cold putting it in the water. Oh, yes. Dude, that water is warm. Is the water it's, warm? Yeah, it's bath water right now. So we uh, finally just got, Owen uh, caught his first fish today. We, uh, we've been fishing about five or 10 minutes or so. 
Caught a little black drum. Hopefully there's some redfish hanging out here with them, with their cousins. But we'll see, he's on it. He's on a mission, so we'll hopefully keep him coming. So we're just gonna pick up, we're gonna run out to the inlet. Um, we're kind of going away from, so the landing's north of us. We're gonna run a little bit further south and then kind of work our way back, kind of go to the farthest point and come back with the tide. Just trying to try a little something different. The tide's not working in our favor. So this spot I have out here in the inlet, it looks kind of like that, but it's got like a little creek that goes up in there and then it's got like an oyster bed that's submerged right yeah. off of it. Usually pretty good. It's actually a really good flounder spot, but the, I, we've been catching more redfish on it, which is kind of weird. Well, yeah, I would do a minute. Like I said, I would take it and cast it like right here in the corner, like up yeah. here where this little creek kind of goes in. Yeah. And then maybe let it drift right down the edge. And then once it gets to like right there, it should start going over that little oyster bed. Yeah. So like kind of right just on the beach kind of. Because right. it looks like that with the current, it'll kind of drift down like that. I think that'll be good. Oh yeah. It's on the bank, but. Let him catch a little suntan up there on the sand. <laughs> He's up there laying out, browning. Oh. Yeah, that's right, just kick back. Relax. Just taking them on, taking them on vacation. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh, that's a fish. I got a fish. Oh, that's a little baby look, flounder. Baby flounder. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was a flounder bite. Look at yep. him eat that big old minnow. And my minnow's yeah, still alive. There we go. That's all right. At least we're catching some variety. Yeah. Oh. I told you it's a normal good flounder spot. Yeah. <laughs> Not that small. I can't believe that little tiny yeah. flounder ate that big old minnow. Grow up, big guy. Wow. Go tell your buddy the redfish. And we're looking for them. Nice. I love how they swim down gracefully yeah. like that. That's all right, at least we know there's a couple fish here. Yes, yeah, so we just got to a new spot. Um, trying to kind of work our way back down the waterway here. Um, we just got word that I guess none of the middle school kids have caught fish yet. There's only been like two high school kids that have caught fish so uh it's pretty down to the wire you know probably a one fish tournament something like that so we still got a pretty good chance we're gonna try to still trying to pick one out of here um this wind and tide's just fighting against us but that one's working at it i'm actually pretty confident that we're gonna pull something off in the oh, yeah. next hour or so i think so once that tide starts moving oh there you go Redfish, redfish. Nice, That's a redfish. juicy one too. Yes. Keep it down. <laughs> Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Please, please, please stay on. A, All right, we got a big, a big, oh, oh, juicy oh. one on. Oh yes. Oh no, it might be a puppy. Might uh, be too, no, he looks pretty oh, thick. No. Oh. Oh, you might be. No, that's a good size yeah, one right there. That, no. one, that one looks slot. He looks a little small, oh, but he yeah. looks... No, I think that's a slot fish. Here. He's oh, right God. on the bottom of it if he is, but he's... Oh, my God. Alright, get him up. I'm trying not to horse him. Oh, oh my God. God. Sorry, I can't see him. Yeah, you're good. I, I, right here, this is the one. Yes! Nice, that's definitely a slot fish. Let's yep. get your... Uh, here, alright, so I'll get your board out. You can measure him and do your yep. thing. Oh, my gosh. He wasn't going anywhere. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's us. We don't even have to... Yeah, we're, I mean, we're solid on that. Yeah, that's, that's 16, so that's a keeper. That, that might be the, this might be the hey, winning Hey, dude, right here. I, that's I awesome, said, dude. I said, that's, it, there's got to be a juicy hey. redfish there. Perseverance, right? Yep. That's all it is. All Ooh. right, ready? Just a real quick one. Hold him up, and we'll get a picture, and I'll send it to your dad. He'll be happy. And we'll put him in the well. Ready? One, two, three. All right, let's put him in the well. This might be a winning fish. You see his belly on this thing. He's fat too. This oh fish yeah, he's a fat, fat one for, I mean, for one. That's. That's a good size one, man. I yeah. mean, for, he's slot, you know? Yes. Dude. 
All right, so you guys just retie that one. We'll still back in there. A, Obviously, there's some that's fish about right a there. Two, that's about a two-pounder right there. Yeah, we'll I'm take gonna, it. At this point, we'll take it. I'll take anything at this point. Owen's attitude hadn't changed all day. He's been ready to catch fish all day, but he's definitely more pumped up now. He's ready to snatch another one out. There you go. Oh, oh he's puppy. Oh, no, he's a little, he might be all right. No. You got him? Hey, we got another one. Wait, let's, let me tell you something. Let, let's throw yeah. him on there. Oh, wait, then no, no, he might actually. Look how fat he is. Though. Yeah. He is, she look, does look short, but he's fat. Yeah, she, uh, she might be. There you go. I mean, that's a fat little fish. Hey, we did it. You're, you want to go back. I mean. Oh, it still goes over 15. So slide that over the tail. So like go this way, look here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's 15 on that. It, it's, it's a per oh God, he's pooping. He's Here, let's get him. Well, oh wait, no, 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 I'm so stupid. Yeah, <laughs> Why would I do that? Throw him in there, you're good. Throw him in the lab well. We'll get him. We'll I don't want to get the boat wet. And I was let yeah. the guy go. You were fine. You were just, you were thinking like a normal. I don't want it to poop all over the boat. All right, well, let's go ahead and get after it. Let's, maybe we can get another one right here. Yep. So happy we got two fish today. I mean, that's just a blessing right there. Especially on a windy, super windy day. I mean, no, nobody's catching fish ex except us because we've got the best crew out here. Best camera guy, best captain, best fisherman out here, so. There you go. Double hand him in there. You got him. Alright. Is that my log? Yep. Alright, hop down there. You got to carry him up there. Oh. You got enough water in there? Yep. Are you the first time we ever had to deal with that? Alright, hold the bag open. Hey, yeah, that's a good thing, though. I like to make sure they're alive. 17 three quarters. So we didn't have a ton of action today, but we were able to bring home two fish. Owen's never weighed a fish in a tournament before, so he is beyond stoked. The lens cap is on. <laughs> An important part about this style of tournament is that it's catch and release, meaning that every fish must make it back to the water alive. If a fish does not live and does not swim off, then participants will have that fish deducted from their score. This means good etiquette is essential when handling fish and ensuring they're released safely back into the water where they came from. Uh, thanks for this day, Lord, and thanks for bringing our boat captains and our anglers back home safe. I know it was a little windy out there, Lord, and they felt your presence, and thank you for getting them back home safe. And thank you for these moms and sisters and brothers and children that's come out today, Lord, and continue to bless this tournament as it continues to grow, not only to be a platform for you, Christ, but in memory of Brody Bates. Amen. Amen. Two fish, 3.28, big fish, 1.91, Owen Cobart. Take this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is... Oh, that's 
Seeing Owen up there on the stage is really awesome. He said in the beginning that hard work is what it was going to take to win this thing, and that's what he did all day. He stuck out the cold, kept fishing, didn't complain, and now look at him. He's up there on the stage getting his reward. Get his little plaques. Well. Yeah. Don't forget to tip your Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Give this one to Jim. That would mean a lot to him. He's right there. I can't find you. Oh, nice. There we go. Here, let's take a picture right here. Come on. So when Owen came off the stage, he had an extra trophy and he came over and handed it to me. And that really meant a lot to me because, you know, we, we got to spend a lot of time on the boat together today and we kind of really bonded and he's a really cool kid. And you just, you get to see somebody like that who has this passion that, like I did when I was a kid and you get to share that with him. It was just a, just a cool experience all around. I like you like each other. Yeah, I know, well, you gotta hold him up. There you go. Good team today. <laughs> You know, the fishing was tough out there today. Wind was blowing 15, 20 miles an hour, north, high tide. I mean, everything was going not in our favor that it could have been. And we just we stuck with it. We kept fishing. We, I mean, we made it happen. And that's what it's all about. And like I said at the beginning, it is hard work. And hard work pays off. There it is. Yep. Big fish and first place middle school. So that's, all, that's what it's all about. And yeah. it's for a good cause. Yep. So. Maybe we can do it again next year. Maybe. See, there you Maybe. go. And hopefully it's a little bit nicer next year. Yeah, let's hope so. Maybe less bugs when it's cold. <laughs> Maybe you'll wear some pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, next year, Owen and I already talked about it. We're gonna try to fish again together. Um, he'll be in high school next year, so the competition really ramps up, but I think we can take him, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We wanna thank everybody that came out for today's tournament and those that have been working behind the scenes to make this event possible. Congrats to the winners this year, and those that did not win, best of luck next year. I wanna encourage you all to keep fishing, keep working hard, and remember to sign up for next year's tournament, April 22nd at Buck Hall Boat Landing. You can register online at BrodyBatesRedfishOpen.com. Next week on the Sportsman Experience, Jim is headed offshore with his brother and two good buddies from Sportsman Boats. They plan to head out in hopes of filling the fish boxes by bottom fishing some different reefs just offshore of their home waters in Charleston, South Carolina. There he is. All three. <laughs> three button triple up. up. Triple up. All triple right. up. <laughs> I got Kobe everywhere. Jim, look, he just jumped back in the boat, man. Look at that big shark out there. There's yeah. a big shark oh, out there. three or four yeah, of them yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He's swimming with it. There he is. He thought he was oh, right there. Oh, he got it. <laughs> He's bumping it. Bumping it. There he goes. Get him now. <laughs>